700 millions. Did you know that's the number of people that by 2050 will suffer from disabling hearing loss? Maybe you even know someone among your friends or family members who is hearing impaired. Although modern hearing aids help hearing impaired people hear sounds around them with comfort, the ability to clearly understand speech and noise remains very challenging. Traditional signal processing approaches such as directional microphones and noise reduction algorithms are incredibly advanced and powerful. Despite this, they still struggle in difficult acoustic environments with low signal-to-noise ratios or when many people are talking at the same time. And these are the situations when we need hearing aids to work most. On the other hand, deep neural networks represent an entirely new approach to sound processing, thanks to which a trained system can behave smoothly and intelligently across a vast range of sound environments, something that the conventional algorithms have not been able to achieve. Although these networks are extremely powerful, they are also very expensive from a computational and hardware perspective, requiring millions of operations per input. This makes computing at the edge incredibly challenging, especially for wearable devices such as hearing aids that are memory, area and power constraint. Therefore, in order to enable inference in energy scarce milliwatt devices, we must develop efficient deep learning algorithms, which in turn should rather than optimize hardware. And this is exactly the objective of my PhD. I'm focusing on co-optimizing hardware and software, which means that my project is twofold. Firstly, I'm developing deep learning algorithms that help to reduce computations and hence power. I'm targeting the speech and noise problem, where I work with a wide variety of speakers and environments, reflecting the most relevant acoustic situations that people are exposed to in the real world. Secondly, I'm designing hardware, a neural network accelerator that can support execution of these DNN algorithms locally in a low power hearing aid. You might actually ask why we simply don't run inference in cloud, exactly as the training, and deploy the results back into a hearing aid. Well, it's true that there are already cloud-based DNN systems in hearing devices. However, sharing data with the cloud is not desirable due to security and privacy. Furthermore, on-the-chip DNN technology in hearing aids offers real-time sound processing, which is crucial for keeping the total processing delay under 10 milliseconds. This also eliminates latency and connectivity issues rooted in the cloud-based solution. In general, the potential of DNNs is vast. If we look into the future, we could envision a hearing aid trained to specific voices or even create a DNN-based sensor fusion platform with sensors such as EEG as they become available within size and power required by hearing aids. The choice of an attended speaker guided by EEG signals from the ears would provide a huge advantage for the end user in challenging listening situations. I hope that with my research, I can make a step closer towards this future with a highly personalized and human-friendly user experience for end users and healthcare professionals. Thank you.